Hey guys, it's me, Allie Burns from Picks and Parlays, and I've got a free MLB play for this Friday, August the 6th. Use the promo code USA and save yourself 20% off of the entire site. The Chicago White Sox are taking on the Chicago Cubs, and I've got expert handicapper Cameron Ross here with me today. What's going on, Cam? Man, nothing. You know, uh, back from Disney, as you see. Ready to uh, ready to get back in the ready to get back in the flow of things. I like it. I like it. Look like you had a really good time there. But yes, it's back to business. We're talking baseball. So White Sox are at their hometown rival, the Chicago Cubs. Uh, we don't have a total out on this one because you know at Wrigley we don't get totals until the next day, and we film these videos the night before. But the Cubs are the or the White Sox are the favorite here, minus one forty five. What's your play? Yeah, you know, um, if this game had been two or three weeks ago, the the total, the the line would probably be a lot different. But as you know, as you know, as we know, the Cubs basically traded away all their power, a lot of their production. You know, there are six games under 500 right now. They're technically in the mix for the postseason, but it ain't happening. You know, they're fixing to chalk it up and just uh, get ready for next next season. The White Sox, on the other hand. They're almost 20 games over 500. They're pushing for a playoff spot. They're pushing to be the best team in the AL. This is a playoff team. Lance Lynn on the mound, 10 and 3, 207 ERA. I think he's going to roll against this Cubs lineup that has no power, you know, doesn't have a lot of hitting. There's a lot of guys that people aren't going to know in this lineup. I do think um, Kyle Hendricks will pitch well enough against the White Sox. That's a very potent lineup. Uh, it's going to be in black and white. They're going to get to him eventually. If they don't get to him, they'll rough up the Cubs bullpen, and that's going to lead to a win for the White Sox because the Cubs have no help. And I like the price here, too, a minus 145, especially because there there is such a gap between how good one team is and how – unreliable the other team i don't want to say the cubs are a bad team they're just a little mismatch right now so 145 i think is a great price to pay to get this uh heavy hitting white Sox team so i'm with you cam ross that's what we're gonna do taking the white Sox minus 145 against the chicago cubs